and welcome to Just Food. We've been on a hiatus for a little bit now, but we're back and better than ever, and we are making healthy alternatives to some of your favorite meals. And what better way to come back with a punch than by starting off with one of my favorites, a heavy Italian here. Obviously, one of my favorite foods, amongst others, is pasta. And who doesn't love to hear the word pasta, knowing that it is low carb and made with only two guilt-free ingredients, sort of. All you need to make this low carb two ingredient pasta recipe is one cup of mozzarella and one egg yolk. That's it. Oh, and you're also gonna need your utensils and supplies, maybe a baby bowl to put your mozzarella cheese in, you're gonna need a cookie sheet to lay everything out and flatten it, parchment paper so nothing sticks, and of course a spatula to fold everything into each other. Now, here's how you do it. Start off by putting that one cup of mozzarella cheese into a bowl and microwaving it for about one to two minutes until it's melted. Now allow the mozzarella to cool for 30 seconds once it is melted, and then with that spatula, gently fold the egg yolk into the cheese. Don't forget to take out the egg whites. I did that. It's wrong. Once you have everything folded into each other and it looks like a giant big ball of egg yolk and cheese, turn the mixture onto the parchment paper lined with a baking sheet. Now place another piece of the parchment paper on top of your dough and press down with your hands until it's nice and evenly thin. Once that happens, remove the top piece of parchment and cut the dough into thin little strips, making it look like pasta. Place your pasta on a rack and refrigerate it for four hours or overnight. I did overnight because I fell asleep waiting. Once it seems all done and ready and hard like normal pasta would, take it out of the refrigerator and put it into boiling water for one minute, just one minute. So. Don't leave the kitchen. You're gonna drain your pasta into a colander and run cool water over the pasta to prevent it from sticking because again, if you melt it, it's cheese. It's gonna, it's gonna stick. So once it's all set, put it in a bowl, serve it, and cover it with your favorite pasta sauce and enjoy. Mangia. Okay, already I'm getting that it's really hard. Maybe it could have went in longer or maybe I just ran it under cold water for too long before it got really, really stiff again. This kills me inside because this is like fake Italian crap, but I'm excited. <laughs> you know? Not bad. It's like more chewy for sure, but I freaking love cheese. To be honest, it doesn't even taste like cheese. If anything, I taste the Parmesan that I put on top, but not the mozzarella. Oh yeah. I'd eat a lot of this. Holy cow, this is really good. Okay. A lot of chewy. What I am a little bummed about though, is that the consistency doesn't allow you to twirl your pasta, which is like my thing. Yeah, not bad. All right, tapping out. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching another episode of Just Food. If you have any suggestions or foods that you would like me to try as healthy alternatives for some of your favorite meals, send them to us in a message on Facebook, Cat Country Mornings with Joe and Rachel. See you next week.